Well, the guys that are here, I don't think is the best. This isn't what I want. I don't want to be up here to talk about really a injury that's so it's kind of devastating, honestly. But um, I appreciate the support so far from just everybody, from my family to friends and people just understanding where I, where, where I am right now. Um, it's not the end of things for me at all, I don't believe. Uh, I, I have a strong belief that I will be back. My surgery and everything will go good. And I got a strong faith and strong family and strong support cast. And I will continue to do everything that I have to do to get better. And I'll take it day by day. When you got hurt, I mean, after what you went through last year, you must be thinking, are you kidding me? What was your range of emotions since that night all the way up to here? Yeah, it's definitely been a, a tough three nights for me since Saturday night. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying all kinds of thoughts, all kinds of things have been running through my mind. Uh, I don't even exactly know where to start, where to go, but I do understand that you know God has a plan for me. Uh, a lot of things even flashed through my face, or through my mind, right when it happened. It was the weirdest thing. And uh, just thinking back, as me missing all those games last year and working so hard to get back with my teammates, and then missing, realizing that I will be missing so many more games this year from a special feel, a special season that I feel here. Uh, it, it's tough, but I do understand that, you know, everything that's happened for a reason, and God does have a plan for me. Uh, if you get a fifth year, I mean, do, do, have you heard any discussion about any precedent? Has it happened before where guys in, with two half years were given a fifth year? We're not talking a six year, just a fifth year. Any idea to give you any hope? Uh, yeah, you know, I spoke with Coach Campbell. He's uh, been right there with me, talking to me, and uh, He's saying they're pressing whichever way they can to try to get me a fifth year. Hopefully, it does happen. I feel that you know they should grant it to me if that if that's what it can if that's what it comes to. Uh, missing so many games last year, like we said, and also not to miss probably hopefully six six or seven games this year. Um, you know, I hope they do grant it for me. But uh, either way, God roll with the punches, and I'll just kind of keep just work on getting better at the surgery and just take it day by day and go from there. What did roll through your, what did flash through your mind when it happened? It was, it was just so much thought and so much that I just couldn't believe it, honestly, that it happened again. Because I knew instantly when I took that step and I heard a snap that that was all what had occurred. Um, it was tough, but, I mean, I, it's tough, honestly. I, it's hard for me to just even really just kind of sit and explain everything that did go through my mind. What, what did happen? How did the injury occur? Uh, just really taking the play. I took, a, I took a, I looked at the sideline to get the play call, going over to line up to to the spot where I was supposed to be. I took a step. wasn't really the hardest step. wasn't really a get off step. It was just a, a push off. Pushed off of it. Thought somebody stepped on me. I looked behind me. There was nobody there. And um, I'm thinking, okay, maybe my tape might have exploded. So I got up try to walk again I just fell back down and that's when I figured something really bad had happened and hearing from experiences of people who have tore their Achilles have all said the same exact thing and that's just how it went really. So it was not a football play? It was not a football play. Do you think it was aggravated by the previous play or was no, it just not a just at awkward all. step? Not at all. It was just a regular step. It was, um, it was, I, it was the weirdest thing honestly. Um, you know, I just took a step, going to the direction where I was going, and it snapped. If you don't get the fifth year, pro day is in mid-March usually. Do you think you'll be healthy enough by then to participate? Uh, yes, I spoke with the doctors and the surgeons, trainers and things. They said they believe I'll be about 80, 75 percent. But um, I feel that I am a fast healer. I feel that with the, with the hard work that I will be putting in down the years with the trainers and and just understanding that I can only go up and not go backwards. I feel that I will probably be actually a little bit better than that. And uh, I, I plan on working my butt off each and every day as soon as I get back into treatment. And I will, I, I'm planning on being as close to 100% as I can. And that will be a dedication to myself, my family, and all the people who have been supporting me. And I will get back out there. You say a fast healer. Did you beat the deadline with your... Elbow injury? I believe I was pretty healthy with my, with my elbow injury. I, I might have beat the deadline. Um, I, they were, you know, keeping me out, as we all know, for precautionary reasons and things like that. But um, either way it goes, if I'm not at 100%, I feel that I will continue to work hard and 
I'll show I'll, I'll show all every case of talent that I have out there to the best of my ability. Is there anyone that you've talked to that's really you know, been in your corner that's lifted your spirits since this happened? Yeah, it's definitely uh, my mother, my parents, um, my brothers, everyone, and family members from friends and, and even the coaches and teammates. Those, those guys are considered my family also. And the support that they've been giving me and calling me, Jermaine Robinson, that's like my brother, honestly, man. He's been there. And he went through it the same way, and so he's been calling me almost every night, texting me almost every two hours, almost to the point where I'm like, Jermaine, I'll be all right. But, you know, it's a lot of things that goes through my mind right now, honestly, and uh, I'll be all right, and I'll be good. I just thanks everyone for the support. Will, will you uh, miss any class time because of this? Uh, will you be able to get back to class shortly after surgery? Yes, I will be able to get to class. Um, I spoke, I've emailed most of my teachers already, and I've uh, spoke with a lot of people on how exactly to go about it. I do plan, well, I have a few online classes that I do plan on staying on top of. Um, hopefully the teachers will understand where I'm coming from, and no matter what, though, I can't take a step back in the classroom. I have to stay on top of it, and that I will do. When do you plan to graduate? I was planning on graduate uh, in December. I, I believe I might not be able to exactly according to just a couple of um, courses that I was down short, but I'll be d I'll be ready to go for my scheduled time, which was in May. So you're planning on graduating in three and a half years? I was you, yes, you, I was planning uh, on graduating early. What, communications? Communications, yes. When's surgery planned for? Do you know? Next, next week, Tuesday. You go to here in town? Or? Yes, sir. Anything else for TJ? Okay, we appreciate you coming out.